Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a full face of Too Faced. I like making videos with just one brand so that you can look at everything they have and like overall make a good decision on which products you would like to try. I usually don't do my makeup with just one brand. I like to mix and match. But doing one brand reviews really helps you out when you're like in the mood to buy something from that brand and you don't know what is worth investing in then this video might help you out. So um, today's Christmas day, so I don't know how many people are gonna actually watch this video, but I didn't wanna just not film because I tried filming this video yesterday, but the lighting was terrible, so I just deleted it. So let's start with a Hangover 3-in-1. This is um, priming and setting spray. It doesn't have the best mist, but it's pretty good it's most delicious i wanted to show you guys the hangover wash the day away and this is an amazing creamy 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 um cleanser i love it the thing is like it's very hard to get it out that's the only issue that i see with this but um it's definitely a good um uh what is it called a good face wash if you're looking into a creamy texture and you don't mind like pushing it for a little bit extra it's just it's not that it doesn't come out it's just like a little bit of extra work so we missed it our face as always and then we're going in with a hangover good in bed serum which is actually a pretty nice serum all these priming products have a similar smell it's a little bit coconutty, so if you're not into coconutty smells, this might not be for you. But it's very subtle and fresh, and it just feels so nice. This is the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and I always work from thinnest to thickest layers for makeup prep. I don't just add a moisturizer and start my makeup because I feel like that doesn't really hydrate. You need to hydrate first, which is like the more liquidy textures. And then you go in with creams that are more moisturizing and that will seal the hydration in. This is the pillow cream, the hangover pillow cream, which is a night cream, but I love using it to prep my face instead of using it at night, just because it has like this really fine radiance particles. It's not glitter. But it, it definitely makes your face look a little better and a little um, brighter. I don't know if you guys can tell. But I really like it. It's a really good cream. I wouldn't say it's like the best anti-aging cream. But what I love about um, Too Faced is that they don't have this crazy claim to like, this will change your skin like by a thousand percent. Like, you know, like other brands that do that. Like, they just come out with good products, most of them and they're very like straightforward and i love the packaging it's always fun for foundation i'm going in with the born this way foundation in the shade natural beige which is a little dark for me so i'm gonna mix it in with the other shade which is snow i'm sure you'll be able to find your right shade um but I just, for some reason, didn't. And this was a while ago, so I wasn't like such a pro at picking my foundations or I don't know what happened there, you guys. But, but I really like this foundation. As you can tell, I've gone through quite a bit of it. Um, I really like it. It's thin, but it also applies like seamlessly. It gives you like a really nice um satin finish i wouldn't say it's super glowy but it's also not matte so if you're into this kind of textures this is definitely a good one for sure and i find that Too faced is never like way too overpriced they keep their prices like at a decent price point and it's just a fun brand like i got this little things like a cute little scrunchie and like this eye mask so sometimes you get little gifts from them and I just think they're so innovative and just like a really fun brand. So let's see, I'm gonna grab my Magical Mirror from She Glam, which I definitely recommend. This was so cheap and it's so dirty. I am so sorry. It's just like, I clean it all the time, but it gets dirty so quickly. You know, you guys know how mirrors are. So I'm just gonna pat in the foundation because I, I never just go in with a brush. 
because I find that it leaves like streaks on your face, you know, so yes, it helps spread the foundation quicker than with a, with a sponge, but I just like to really press it in afterwards with a sponge to make sure that it is like a flawless looking finish. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this concealer that I just tried yesterday when I tried to film. And this is a multi-use sculpt sculpting concealer, which is a little bit light for me. So I'm not going to add a huge amount so that there's not such big contrast. I know a lot of people like to brighten up certain areas. I like it a little bit lighter than my foundation, but definitely not super bright because I feel like it doesn't flow as well, you know? Um, I like to add a little bit on this area to like kind of lift up, um, create like the contours of the face, you know? Um, so I think this concealer will work pretty fine once I blend it in. As I told you guys when I filmed yesterday, um, the makeup looked really good in person, but I had the lighting from the ceiling and it distorted my face completely and the makeup I mean, look pretty bad. You could barely even see what I was doing. It was just not working. And I didn't want to upload a video that I wasn't satisfied with. And I know I don't have the best lighting, the best setup and all of that, but I'm trying to work on that. Um, I already invested in some new lights, which I don't know when they will arrive, but hopefully soon. So I won't have to wait until I go to Miami to get some good lights, um, which is pretty nice because I feel like lighting really is everything when it comes to a video. And I don't wanna get like the super crazy brightening lighting that just, yes, it forgives a lot and it makes you look a lot better than you actually look like in real life, honestly. Um, it just makes everything look like super smooth and super um, just, it just looks very perfected and I never want to show you guys like um, something that is not real. This is a Too Faced bronzing powder, which I've had for a while, but let's see. Um, it's, it's hard panned a little bit, so I'm not sure how easy it will be to apply. No, but it's definitely grabbing product for sure. So I'm just going to tap it on the other side to get rid of like the excess and not go overboard with the other side. And instead of going like this, I like to tap it in so there's no stripe. And then go back to this side, tap it in, and always go up to the temples. So that it gives you that lifted look, you know. The way that you apply your bronzer, I'm not contouring specifically, but this bronzer kind of works as both because it's a neutral shade, but it's also got a little bit of warmth. So this works as both so that I don't have to um, contour and bronze the skin. I'm going to go in a little bit under my eyes just because I felt like the concealer was a little too light. And as always, I add a little bit to my eyes so that it has like a good foundation for the shadows to really blend beautifully into your face. Always go up to the hairline so it doesn't look like a mask. And honestly, with bad lighting, the nose contour ends up looking worse as if like you ruined your nose with a contour. So let's try it out today and see what this looks like. Always try to do your contour like with the lines quite close together. If you do them very separated, it will give you the opposite look of what you're looking for. Um, like if you see like this actually looks like I want like way too on the sides and I didn't. So definitely always try to um, go pretty close in with your, <sighs> sorry guys, my brain is fried, um, with your contour. Um, I know some of you watched the video about my dad. Um, I felt like I needed to, I'm gonna go in, sorry, with the natural face palette from Too Faced. This is a new palette for me and it feels so luxe. It's heavy, it's gorgeous. It has some nice bronzy shades um, and beautiful um, peachy, um, some like 
burgundy and some highlighters some like different tones to do like a full face of all of this and yeah the video about my dad i felt like i had to do it i'm gonna go in with the mario brush in f2 with the smaller one because it's a little bit lighter not as it won't apply as heavily and i'm just gonna go in in little swirls and tabs and you can apply your bronzer here i mean your blush here if you want that cute look and you can pull it up more if you're almost to your eye and like even down here if you just want to look bronzy but with a lifted look and i actually like just applying it like all over this area and even going up to my eye a little bit i don't know if you can tell this is a matter of taste but to me it definitely feels like it gives me that healthy healthy glow and that's just the way that i like to apply my blush but i definitely change it around a little bit i never forget to apply some blush on my forehead because that's where you would naturally get sunburned so i like that kind of sunburned look for my face not like crazy sunburned but you get what i'm saying um okay so for highlighter i'm gonna go with satin sheets which seems to be the lighter one i don't like going in with super light highlighters because i feel like it removes a little bit of the oh this is definitely way too gold Whew, i should have tapped my brush because now i have like a like a spot there i guess that was my mistake but this should be able to blend you know like okay with a harder brush it's easier to blend but definitely be cautious with this highlighter i'm not sure if i love this shade but maybe if i would have applied it with a lighter hand it would have looked better mm. so yeah i don't like applying very very light highlighters unless i'm gonna add a little bit more blush at the top because then it, you just have like this white stripe and the blush that's here to lift up your face goes away like it gives you the opposite effect of what you're looking for so now i'm gonna tap my face my brush and see like it's it's just this highlighter might be better used as like an eyeshadow it's not giving me the vibes that i'm looking for i definitely like the bronzers and the and the blushes but i'm not so sure about this one look it doesn't look as um as sorry guys as golden but once you apply it to the cheek see how it just like stamps and like it's very hard for me to get that stampy um look because i'm like so used to like applying highlighter and i rarely ever get that kind of like stampy look but um definitely be cautious with this highlighters and maybe even use them for something else because it's way way too golden way too golden for my taste some people really love golden shades so it's i think makeup overall it's it's a matter of taste you know and it's all like it's all good to go like if you like super crazy highlighter skin i like a lot of highlighters sometimes if i'm in the mood but i like very very thin textured highlighters that don't look glittery but they just look like a sheen like a sheer wash like a sheer veil of um not glitter of shine yeah so i'm gonna go in with this major love little palette um i tried it yesterday and to be honest with you guys um i'm not sure how well all the shades perform because i didn't try all of them um the look just look horrible yesterday on camera so hopefully it will look better today and let's see for a small palette i feel like it gives you a lot of um like payoff when it comes to the shades and you can just create so many looks with such a small palette because they're just so different but they work well together so let's see i'm gonna start with a little bit of this barbie pink and just tap it a little bit and go on my crease i always try to extend my eyeshadows 
sometimes even like after my eyebrow ends like really pulling it all the way here not all the shadows but just maybe like the transition shade that you're starting with because that creates more of like the cat eye look and it, if you stop your shadow here it will cut out your eye and make it look like it's smaller for sure well that's my experience at least but as i've said makeup is just a matter of taste you guys, I was feeling uh, quite down this morning um, because if you watched my video, you know my dad um, is gone. He passed away about six days ago and it's it's been sad. It's been pretty sad. We were very, very close, like very close. Like I lived with him, so I was with him every single day. And you know, I'm 30 years old, but since he was sick, I never wanted to get out of the house. I mean, like, get my own apartment until he was gone. But I'm not ready to move out of this apartment yet. Like, I really want to just, I feel like his presence is here. And that's, this is where I want to stay for a while. I'm going to go in with this bronzy shade. Um, So this is my first Christmas without him. This is going to create more depth on the eye. My first Christmas without him and... I really want to honor my dad and dedicate my life to him. Um, not because he judges me, just dedicate my life to him as in like, um, make him proud. But like, I know what would make him proud would be for me to be really happy and not necessarily doing whatever he would want me to do. Just like, um, just like, being my, the best version of myself, you know? Because now I feel like if I'm doing something wrong, I would feel guilty because I feel like he can watch me. Sorry guys, I'm gonna get an eyebrow pencil just because I already screwed up my eyebrows. I'm back. Oh, and this super cute set, sorry, mm -hmm. is from Nap Loungewear, which I told you guys about. They have super cute sets. And this is the one I'm wearing today. And I show you guys my outfits because um, I know a lot of you guys are still staying at home. And um, you also love loungewear. And I just love cute loungewear um, sets. So this is the one I'm wearing today. For I think that's it for the, for the transition shade. And I'm just going to go in with... Hmm, I'm not going to play it safe. And I'm going to go in with this green. All right. Whenever I apply gl glitters, I feel like it always works a lot better if you use your finger and kind of stamp it instead of using like a fluffy blush because a fluffy blush, a fluffy brush because that will just disperse the glitter everywhere and um yep, doesn't work that well. Or you can wet your brush, but I just find that stamping it with your finger, if the shadows are easy to work with, works perfectly fine. Okay, this is a cute look. I like it so far. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of this gold shade. No, actually a little bit of this one. Hmm. No, a little bit of this darker one to my outer corners and blend it in with the green one. Just so that it's like a gradient look. You see how it just like from the dark, it goes to like a little bit of a lighter color. And here I am extending it a little bit, but not too much because I already did my transition shade more outward. So let's do the other side. So yeah, you guys, how do you spend your Christmas? Like, do you guys spend it with family, with your partner? Um, what do you like to do on Christmas? What are your traditions? I haven't gotten very many comments on any of my videos, to be honest. But I, I mean, I'm just starting, so I, I understand that. I'm gonna add the same brownie shade on my lower lid. And I understand that, but I would really love if you guys uh, could open up a conversation with me so that I can connect with you guys and I promise I'll be answering every single comment um, I I will be on top of that and answer everything I like whenever I get a comment I just get excited because that means like the video kind of like touched someone or they 
like the um i don't know i guess we all like every youtuber likes to get comments and then okay not playing it safe again i'm gonna go in with this dark with this dark gold just put it here and go a little bit under the eye yeah i think it looks cute I almost always highlight my inner corner unless I'm doing like a black liner, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not very good with liners, so I will be practicing for you guys just so that I don't make a huge mess. I'm going to darken up a little bit over here. Um, so I would love to know about what you guys think, what kind of videos you guys would like to watch, what you're going through, like... I want this channel to not only be about makeup and beauty, but also like sharing experiences in a safe place where no one's judging you. And if I find people being judgy or making mean comments, I will just block them because I want everyone that's here to feel safe to like share whatever they're going through. And I don't want assholes on my, on my YouTube channel. Just no. No, 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 no. I really try to stick with people who are really loving and caring. And I've reduced my circle, like the people that I hang out with, a lot. Um, just because I'm more careful of who I decide to give my energy to. You know, like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I'm more careful about who I hang out with because at the end of the day, you become the kind of person, um, I mean, you, be, you become the person, the people, what am I saying? The people that you hang out with will definitely um, affect who you become and that can be in a positive or in a negative way, you know? So definitely keeping my circle small and I that doesn't mean you shouldn't have friends or have very few friends, but I'm just like, I'd rather have a handful of good friends than have a hundred kind of friends that are not really there when you need them. And I mean, I'm the kind of friend that if you need me for something like real, I'll be there. And that's how my sister is too. Like, we can get into little arguments, but we like always end up just like being okay a little bit after like a few, like maybe, no, we we barely argue, but we just have different personalities. She's a little more like of a perfectionist. But now that my dad passed away, I realized that um, people that I never expected to like be with me in the hard moments, uh, called me and texted me and they've been asking how I'm doing and um, just it just feels really good you guys I could not find my better than sex waterproof mascara it's a good mascara it does give you a lot of volume if you haven't tried it um, but I feel like the brush is a little too fat for what I like this is a Thrive mascara and it has an amazing wand that really really grabs onto the lashes which i love because i find that very fluffy brushes and it's not like super spiky i hate super spiky brushes that if you like by accident poke your eye it feels like your eye is gonna bleed um this mascara is for sure one of my favorites and i already ordered a, a replacement um i don't know if you guys can tell but it just looks it looks natural, but just, I don't know, you guys, it's just great. And the good thing about tubing mascaras is that they will never flake. If you cry, it will come out in little tubes. But even if you cry, if you don't rub your eyes, it won't come off. So, or if you, yeah, if you go in the pool, it will come out. But um, it holds really well when it comes to humidity and just throughout the day. You will never find like flaky, uh, flaky stuff under your eyes, which is great. But as you guys can see, it really makes your um, lashes look great, in my opinion, at least. I'm going to add a little bit to the bottom lashes, 
which I usually never do, but I've kind of been into lately because I know Ali Glines adds, um, adds it to her, her bottom lashes and she always looks amazing. Her eye looks are always like top notch. They're always great. So yeah, I actually think the lower um, eye thing worked. And now um, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Lip Injection Liquid Lipstick. It's a plumping liquid lipstick, which, hmm, that's interesting because I'm not sure how a plumping liquid lipstick would work as I always bought like glosses and stuff like that, but never like a liquid lipstick that would plump your lips. What am I doing? My hand is like a little shaky. Um, okay. You know how some days, days you're like really good at doing your makeup and there's other days that either your brain is failing or your, your face is not cooperating or something's going on. Um, but I'm gonna let it dry a little bit while I set my face with the same hangover three in one. I'm not throwing it on top of my lips so that it doesn't that I get wet again. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of gloss at the top. This is a lip injection lip gloss, which I actually really like. This is in the say, shade Say My Name. Let's see. I think it's a perfect match with this lip. The lip is a little more exaggerated than what I usually go for, um, but it's cute. I like it. Hmm. Yeah, so far, what products would I repurchase? Uh, foundation's great. Um, this spray, um, if you don't mind a little bit of a, like a weird nozzle that kind of spits at you, really good. I love the primers. They're very moist, like hydrating and then very moisturizing. The night cream just gives that dewy, beautiful glow to the skin. The face palette is great, but I'm not into the highlighter. So maybe using this as eyeshadows. This eyeshadow palette, um, it's pretty cute and compact and I feel like you can get a lot of looks out of it. So this is a win for me because it was actually very cheap. So like if it didn't work, I wasn't gonna be so bummed about it. And I find like Too Faced, um, this bronzer is really good. Has a really neutral uh, undertone, it's great. And the, the lip glosses and the lip injections, everything is, like i just find that they're great if you're looking for a good plumping product the lip gloss is not very thin which i like because i like thin lip glosses or th thin lip oils for nourishing but if i'm gonna go out i want a thicker one that will last me a little bit more throughout the night or the day because thinner ones just tend to disappear or like make your lipstick under it just like end up all over your face so this is the finished look you guys um Hopefully you had a good time with me and I'll be uploading um, almost every day. So I thank you for being here. Every like, subscriber and comment means the world to me. I hope you subscribe to my channel because I'll be bringing you guys a lot of content and I'm very open to suggestions for what you guys want to see next. So Merry Christmas to all of you and I'll see you soon. Bye.